Hey everybody, Kendra the Vet Tech here, and today I'm out at Equine Adventures at Salt Creek Ranch in Linden, Kansas, utilizing their horses to bring you a video about physical exams. So today what we're gonna talk about is performing a physical exam on a horse. Technicians should be doing this. How you go about the exam is totally up to you and how you're comfortable with. Most people have their own ways that they go about it. Pick a way that works for you and stick with it so that you don't forget checking any of their systems. So I'll show you today how I go about performing my physical exam for a horse. So we have this nice little mare here. My assistant Carol is the owner at Equine Adventures at Salt Creek Ranch, so be sure to look her up if you need a horsey hotel, a trail ride, or some lessons and you're in the Kansas area. And we're gonna get started with this mare here. So typically what I like to do is start out with a temperature. It's the most offensive thing, but I like to get it out of the way and have it over and done with. So when we're taking a temperature on a horse, we do it rectally. And we wanna just start up at their shoulder at the safe space, let them know that we're here, and then move our way back to the back. I like to give them lots of scratches on their rump, let them know that we're here. And when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you're standing close to the horse. We don't wanna stand all the way out here. That gives them plenty of room to wind up a good kick. If we're standing nice and close, if they do kick you, it will still hurt, but they won't get as much power behind it. So I give them lots of good scratches so they know that we're coming. Lift their tail a little. And go ahead. Sometimes I'll give them lots of good scratches while the temperature is being taken, just so it gives them something else to think about. This mare is being really good for us, but if they start to dance around, the other reason I like to have my hand on their opposite hip is I can kind of hang on to them and move with them really easy if they start to dance around for the temperature process. These thermometers are advertised as fast, but they notoriously go very slow. So you can see this mare starting to get a little antsy here, which is fine. We're just gonna move with her, stay nice and close and keep up our scratches. All right, so the next thing that we'll do is we'll go ahead and take this horse's weight. How we do that typically in general practice, we don't have the expensive scales for these light breed and draft breed horses. So we'll use what's called a weight tape. And what it does is it wraps around their withers and it gives us a weight estimate. So we'll weigh this little mare here you want to make sure you hit the withers and come right around their barrel. So we'll bring this tape up. And most horses do really well since it's pretty similar to being saddled. So this mare here weighs approximately 932 pounds. Take the tail of the tape and meet it with a weight. You want to make sure you do it the correct way. Otherwise, you'll come up with no weight or some type of silly weight like 100 pounds. Good job. So we got our weight and temp done. Typically what I'll do next is take their heart rate and listen to their lungs. It can be a little bit difficult to get their heart rate or listen to their heart, auscultate their heart, if they're standing with their foot back. So either squared up in the front or this mare is being a perfect patient and she put her foot all the way forward for me. So I can auscultate right here and get a really good listen on her heart. Horses heart rates are also a lot slower then your small animal heart rates. So you have to make sure that you give it a good listen, get, get to, I like to do 15 seconds, and then multiply it by four. So since she's standing square now, I'm gonna have to make sure I get my bell up behind her elbow. Don't be afraid to get up in their little armpits here. And sometimes they'll wiggle a little and even push their leg forward because you're kind of goosing them in the armpit. So right here where my bell is, I've got a great, I can listen to her heart really well right here. So after we get our heart rate, make sure our rhythm is good. We'll go ahead and listen to our lungs. And horses have really large lung fields. So we're gonna take some listens here. And then at the farther lung field. And their respiratory rates are lower too, generally speaking. So we'll have to listen to a couple good breaths in her lower field. We also wanna make sure that we listen to their GI tract, upper and lower. So we're gonna place our bell, here's her hip and her ribs. 
We're going to put our bell right here in the upper GI tract. Easy, sis. And then her lower GI tract will be right here next to her flank. Make sure we're listening for appropriate motility. So I've listened to all the things that I need to listen to on this side. And what we want to do next is make sure we do the same thing on the other side. To make sure that you practice proper safety when moving around horses, once again, with the temperature, we want it to remain close. So if they do attempt to kick, it doesn't get much power behind it. So we're gonna do the same thing when we move around. And my assistant is gonna to move to the same side. So that's how to safely get around behind a horse. Do make sure, you know, the owners, the clients, they know the horses the best. So they might tell you, don't walk behind this mare, she kicks. Some of them do have a tendency to kick more than others, but more often than not, that's the safest way to get around them. And it works just fine for well-broken trained horses. So now that we've safely made it to this side of the horse, we're just gonna repeat our listening patterns with the heart, the lung fields, and the GI fields here. Do keep in mind that while I'm doing the physical exam, I'm also taking in a gross look at the horse. So keeping an eye on their skin, their coat, seeing how things look, making sure I'm not noticing any major wounds as I'm moving around or other skin irritations or issues and really concentrating up on the top of the horse. So then I'll move up to her face here. My assistant will move to the other side since we're both kind of in control at the horse at this point. And I'll take a close look at her eyes and then we'll also check her gums. So we wanna make sure that her gums are nice and pink. I know, sister, I know. And then we also wanna check her CRT, her capillary refill time, and make sure that it's two seconds or less. That's a good girl. Some horses don't really like their mouths licking and chewing. She's a good girl. Some horses don't really like their mouths messed with a lot. So you might need to sweet talk them a little bit more, play with their nose a little bit. Just let them know that you're not trying any funny business like oral medications. So then at this point, what I'll do is kind of assess the bottom part of them. Check their legs, make sure I'm not noticing any swelling, that they're not cocking a leg that I didn't notice before. And the other thing that I'll do is check digital pulses. So for the purpose of this, so you can see, I'll have my assistant stay on the other side. And with this smear, we're gonna come down. Note how I'm still on my feet. So we never ever wanna get into a position with horses where we're on the ground off of our feet and we can't quickly spring up and out of the way if something happens. So how we're gonna check digital pulses is right down by their fetlock. They have a vein, artery, and a nerve that run right through there in a little bundle. And if you roll your finger on the joint, you'll be able to feel that bundle pop under your thumb. So that's when you know you're in the right spot. So we do our thumb on this side and our forefinger in the same spot on the other side. And it's very gentle pressure. If the horse is normal and everything's fine, you likely won't feel anything. If they're having some foot pain, they will have elevated digital pulses. So it's really important that we check their digital pulses at their exam as well. It's a good girl. Okay, so we've completed a physical exam on this mare, found her to be healthy. Veterinarian says it's okay to go ahead and give her her vaccines for today. So what we're gonna do with equines for vaccination is an IM injection. And we'll go ahead and cover that in our physical exam video, as well as a quick blood collection, since those usually go hand in hand. When we do IM injections on horses, the most common place to do it is right here on their neck. You'll want to make sure that you stay within this triangle of their spine, their shoulder, and their nuchal ligament. Another great way that I like to use a lot for client communication purposes are if you lay the heel of your hand right on the front of the shoulder, anywhere your hand goes is safe to, to vaccinate or inject. We can also inject horses on the pectorals and also on their gluteals, though those sites aren't used quite as frequently. We just wanna make sure if we're doing any intramuscular injections, it will be able to drain properly. So we don't wanna do any on the top, top of the horse, any injections on the top of the horse. So what we're gonna do for this mare here is we're gonna give her her vaccine. When we give an IM injection, 
I like to pinch their skin a little bit just to let them know something's coming. We're gonna go straight in, aspirate to make sure we don't get blood, and then give our injection. So we wanna make sure that if we get any blood, we pull our needle and our syringe out, and we start over in a different spot. So that's how and where we give a, an IM injection on an equine. Now we'll go ahead and draw a little bit of blood from this mirror. So now let's talk about IV injection and blood draws for horses. So you wanna make sure that when you are injecting, you run your needle down so you can be sure that you're not in the carotid. If you're in the jugular, the blood flow will stop or be very slow drips. If it's the artery, the blood's still gonna be shooting out. So do make sure that when you're injecting, you run your needle down this way. And then when we're drawing blood, which is what we'll do on this mare, you can run it up. I am right-handed, so working from the left side of the horse is easier for right-handed people. If you're left-handed, ask if you can work with their jugular on the right side of the horse. This seems to work out better for left-handed people. So what we're looking for here is here is this mare's jugular groove. We're gonna wanna work in the top third of the neck. That's where the jugular is the most superficial. We're going to occlude the vein so that we get it to raise and we can see it in the jugular groove. We're gonna take a, a slight angle on it because it is deeper than it seems. And then go ahead and draw our blood. With large animals, we don't need to worry about holding off on the site for hemostasis or anything like that. So just insert the needle, draw whatever blood you need and pull the needle back out. Again, working in this top third. And that's how you collect blood. And once again, if we were injecting, we'd separate the needle and go down in this vein. The <laughs> so that wraps us up for today, guys, on performing a physical exam on an equine. Also, IM injections, IV injections, and blood draws. If you have any questions or concerns, do feel free to comment below, like, and subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to shoot me an email with your questions, you certainly can at KendraTheVetTech at gmail.com. I can be found on Facebook or Instagram under Kendra the Vet Tech, or you can check out my podcast, which goes over credentialed veterinary technician careers, also under Kendra the Vet Tech on your favorite podcast platform. Again, special thanks to Equine Adventures at Salt Creek Ranch in Linden, Kansas, for allowing us to use their horses and their facility today to shoot this video for you. Feel free to look Carol up online if you need a horsey hotel, some lessons, or some trail rides. Thanks, guys. <laughs>